Hello my Gemini friends, this is Christian Redman and today we are going to go over the planetary aspects that are going to be affecting you for this upcoming positive and optimistic year of change 2017. And so this year, Gemini, the highlights for you are going to be uh, in the area of career. There's going to be some changes and some highs that occur for you there. Jupiter in Libra is going to be making a massive impact as well as the in, uh, eclipses in your houses of partnership, love, um, and money. And Saturn is also going to be going through that house of partnership and marriage to bring a stabilizing factor and helping to rebuild structures and foundations where you feel they may have been a little bit uh, cracked in the past here. Another thing too for you this year is going to be a focus on health that occurs at the end of the year, pushing you to kind of push beyond your bounds and move into a new and healthy 2018, which promises to be even more transformative yet. So let's get right in, right in here. Let's start out with money. Okay, Gemini, my wonderful, mutable air friend. Um, this year, Saturn is in Sagittarius. It's been there since 2014. And when Saturn lands in Sagittarius, it's kind of a weird situation. It's like having our feet on the gas and the brake at the same time. And Saturn is the planet that sets up structures, it sets up boundaries, okay? And when it's in Sagittarius, Sagittarius is kind of a sign that really likes to expand boundaries, okay? So where it's been for you in that time frame has been in the house of joint finances, okay? Taxes, debt, um, anything where you need to share your money with somebody else, okay? So you're going to be finding that there's been a lot of restriction in those areas since 2014. So now this year, there's a new moon that happens at the same time when Mars is in Cancer, and that's going to be at June 24th, all right? And it brings a two-week period that's ideal for finding a new job, okay? And the cosmic support is behind that to bring in new beginnings regarding our abundance, all right? Bringing in new financial opportunities for you to really help bring a little bit of stability and structure to those joint finances that you have in your life, okay? Now, another thing, too, is that Pluto, which is the planet of transformation, it's the planet that brings endings, and it's also the planet that's like the garbage truck of the solar system, okay? It's going to dump out the stuff you no longer need. And right now, it's going to be bringing a light to that Saturn, okay, that's going through that house of joint finances. So there's going to be a lot of light shown on those control issues on those joint finances and where maybe it's time to make some adjustments in those as well. Okay, maybe you realize in that time frame too that throughout this year, maybe you realize where money has really been controlling you. Okay, maybe it's not the control that you try to have in finances or the control somebody else has in those finances. Maybe it's just how finances in general control you and your attitude and your actions. And now it's time to reclaim that power. A lot of that energy is going to be coming this year with Gemini. And that's a lot of it, too, because there's so much change that's going to be happening on a career standpoint as well for you. Eclipses in astrology symbolize times of new beginnings, and they represent times when there's going to be changes that are going to be happening for the year. Wherever these eclipses happen, in your chart is where the major changes happen. Okay, So for Gemini, major ones are going to be happening in the houses of career. Okay, For you, major changes are going to be happening there. Now, for you in particular, Gemini, it could be impacted in a different area, okay? Uh, but for the most part, Geminis are going to be affected in some way or another with careers. You can always contact me directly to do an hour reading, and we'll go over your charts and see exactly where these areas are impacting you the most. Uh, but for the most part here, Geminis, expect some major changes with your career, okay? Now, that solar eclipse that happens on February 27th, it happens in your career house, okay, for all Geminis. Not just the career house, but how the world sees you, okay? This is your 10th house. This is about career, how the world sees you, the structures that you have, your reputation, too. So it's all about releasing the old. It's about releasing the old this year in those areas, okay? And the things that just don't serve you anymore. They just don't serve you anymore. So the universe is telling you this is the time to really pursue that dream job that you do want, that dream career that you do want, because you know what? We're behind you in ways that we haven't been 
for over a decade. It's been a long time since this has happened in this house for you. It's time to break free from the past, those past career patterns that you've just outgrown. Okay, you've just, you've grown as much as you can. And Jupiter is coming along this year in Libra, balancing the scales for all of us. And Jupiter is that planet that takes those boundaries and those limitations and it breaks them down. And it breaks us free. So we don't have to feel trapped anymore. And that's happening in your career house, Gemini, majorly this year. So where these eclipses brings endings, no, it brings new beginnings as well. Okay. So definitely with career, we've got some changes happening there. Now when it comes to relationships, that's the other area of the spectrum where we've got some issues going on for you this year. But the positive changes, major changes, uplifting changes that you've been looking for for a while, my Gemini friends. So 12 years ago, okay, Saturn, it takes 12 years to go around the wheel, okay? And it's been 12 years since Saturn has made an appearance in your 12th house of marriage, one-on-one -on -one partnerships, close uh, partnerships with our friends, um, business partners, it could be doctor, client, therapist, diet, uh, client, therapist, doctor, patient, all of those things fall in that seventh house category. Okay, but male, it's mostly marriages. I'm going to tell you that right now. It's mostly marriages. So Saturn is a stabilizing force. Okay, it brings structures, it brings boundaries, it brings uh, healthy boundaries. Okay, so it's coming through and it's setting some new limits. Okay, for us and responsibilities like you've been thinking about to really bring changes into your relationships since about 2015. These things have really been mulling over in that Gemini, beautiful, gorgeous, intelligent mind of yours. Since 2015, things you really want to change, and Saturn this year is going to give you that uh, stability to come in there and say, you know what, this is what I want to do to make these concrete plans moving forward. Like you haven't in 12 years, okay? And the universe is behind you to make these changes happen. December, I would definitely say, is going to be a time frame where you see this taking effect. Okay, you're going to see a lot of those fruits of the labors coming through and solidifying in that time. So it's a time to really make concrete, long-lasting commitments. Spend less time with the people that you've outgrown. This is going to be a year where those close partnerships come into play, especially when it comes into career for you. Okay, Saturn is really making you rethink these people that have put you in that little container, like that fish in the goldfish bowl, it's just ready to get out, okay? So this year you're going to find there's a lot of people in the fish bowl that you've outgrown, okay? And there's nothing wrong with that, regenerating and rejuvenating these cycles with the people that are closest to you. And the ones that are close to you that you are going to keep, that you are working on building these structures with, there's going to be a common ground that's reached, okay? There really is, finally. And you're going to be finding it easier to find that common ground, too, to discuss that, to really set these healthy parameters in these relationships that you've really been trying to do for, for a number of years. So positive year for that, my wonderful Gemini friends. But December is the main month for those uh, relationships. Um, I would say also when Mars is in Virgo, and that's September 5th through October 22nd, that's going to indicate there's some kind of change in your home or in your family. Okay, that could signal a move, a renovation, maybe make some home improvements, something along those lines. Keep an eye out for that mid-September to mid-October is going to be the time frame when those things happen. So that's career, that's home, that's relationships, but just in general, okay, let's think about personal growth and happiness that's going to be happening for you, Gemini, this year in 2017. You know, 2017 is an interesting year because we had Jupiter that transited into Libra last year. That was in September. And Libra is the sign that balances the scale, all right? It takes 14 years for Jupiter to come around back to a sign. So it's been 14 years for all of us where the planet of luck and expansion, really the main thing that it does, though, is bring us luck has come through and really started to balance those scales for us. A lot of people are going to find now that luck is finally on their side again. A lot. <laughs> and so that carries with us throughout this year. A lot of that energy continues to carry out this year with us. And where Jupiter is making the most balancing and harmonious connections for you is in your fifth house. So you're going to find that has to do with your children, with romance, with fun, just fun in general, okay? It's been 14 years since you really let loose and had some really good 
fun. Finding happiness. That's what Jupiter wants you to do this year. It expands whatever it touches, wherever it lands, and it brings that harmony and balance. So this year they're saying for you to find that harmony and balance, you know what you need to find? Fun. <laughs> okay. And the thing is, with Jupiter this year, not only is it going through that Libra, but it's also making a really hard opposition to this planet of Uranus, which brings us unexpected things. So you may find that something unexpectedly pushes you out of your comfort zone when it comes to your children, when it comes to your romance, when it comes to just your daily life and trying to have fun. Okay. Things like that may happen this year, but you know what it does? It really ultimately helps you to focus in on yourself and what brings you that joy, what brings you that happiness. These things may push you out of your bones, but there's a reason because they're trying to get you to look at it from a new angle. You, Gemini, who thinks the most of all the signs. Okay, my air sign friend. This year they're trying to get you to think a little bit differently, think a little bit more optimistically, think a little bit more positively because you know what? You deserve these happy things. You deserve romance. You deserve... Happy things, okay? Jupiter's going to bring it to you this year in unexpected ways, so keep an eye out for it, you know? Um, so definitely an increase of fun, increase in that. Uh, romance, things may unexpectedly happen. Happy news with the family. The family may grow also because Jupiter kind of grows those things with the children, so some Geminis might find that their family is expanding. Um, whether it's baby or dog or whatever it may be, you may find that happening in the time frame of August 26th through the 31st. Also, another thing, too, is that you may find that you are in August in a mood to travel more because that's fun for you. Or you may be learning more, reading more, doing more of those things that bring you and your beautiful intellectual mind some happiness and joy and peace. Find that happening in August as well. Yet again, here we go. Another recognition that. You've outgrown some friendships. You've outgrown some partnerships. <laughs> Professional, personal, whatever, okay? This year you're really recognizing it. You've been feeling that for a couple years, okay? You've really been feeling it while well, Saturn's in Sagittarius. But you're going to act on it this year, okay? And you're really going to be able to let go of those ones that you haven't, okay? You've been facing what's known as it's, it's a social uh, cycle that's being affected here. And it goes through these cycles of eight years. And so you are going to be finding that you're going to be regenerating those social networks that are around you in ways like you haven't for that amount of time. This leads to this personal growth and this integration with your spirituality in ways like you haven't had in a while. Okay, you're going to have a lot of extra energy this year, a lot of confidence this year, okay? Uh, and you're really going to want to put that, channel that energy into working on the self, okay? Geminis do so much to take care of others. They're so always concerned about others that are around them that sometimes they fail to take care of themselves, okay? And this year, you're making yourself a project. You're gonna start investing that time into yourself and your health and your wellness program. And that happens from April 21st until June 4th this year. You're gonna see that, Geminis, that you're gonna have that push to get that done. You're going to have a mental and spiritual timeout, but the universe is going to kind of put you in the corner and put you in a timeout between April, or I'm sorry, March 10th to April 21st, okay? March 10th to April 21st, you're going to see your mind that's always go, 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 thinking, 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 wants to stop. It wants to take a break, and there's a reason for that, okay? The universe wants you to rest. It wants you to recover. It wants you to relax, okay? Take a break from all the thinking, okay? When you do that, you know what's going to come to you? The answers you've been looking for. <laughs> Just in time, too, for these full moons that are coming through, these eclipses that are coming through that are bringing major changes for your relationships, for your career, for the way that the world sees you, Gemini. The eclipses are bringing new beginnings, but with all new beginnings, there's endings. So let's keep that in mind this year that Jupiter is going to be expanding you and moving you, but it also may do it in weird, unexpected ways. So expect the unexpected this year. Now, that's a gist of what's happening for you, wonderful Geminis, this year. But let's focus on certain birthdays that are going to be impacted a little bit differently than other Geminis. Uh, and let's get right to that right now. Now, your birthday may not be in here. That's okay. You may find that you resonate with one of these a little bit more, and that could be because these planets are affecting your personal chart as opposed to the universal chart for Geminis. Okay, like I said beforehand, 
get a hold of me. We can look at your charts and do a reading, do an hour reading to kind of look to your birth chart, look to how it's being affected now and how this Jupiter is affecting you this year and what career opportunities it can be bringing for you. But anyway, so let's look at specific birthdays here. We have got anybody born from May 31st until June 5th. You're going to find that Neptune, dreamy Neptune out there, is going to be squaring your sun this year. You, by far, are the one that's going to have that time out. You need that time to take out, to connect, and reconnect with your spiritual self and that divine guidance of God. You are going to be really rethinking your ways of how you see God the Creator this year and how you connect with that energy. All right. Not only is the spiritual side that you're going to be reconnecting with of yourself, it's your creative side as well, because Neptune rules that creativity. And with our creativity, we find confidence in ourselves, and we find an ability to express ourselves in ways that we're not able to in any other way. So maybe for some of you, that's creative writing. Maybe for some of you, that's pottery or painting. Or maybe for some of you, it's making food. I don't know what it is, but you know what it is. Follow that. Especially you guys, because Neptune's working with you more this year to increase that intuition to know exactly what your soul needs to do to bring that happiness and seek the answers from within as opposed to other people. Okay? Definitely for you, let go of the things that don't support you anymore. You especially. Okay? So those with the June 11th to the 19th, actually let's stretch that out to the 21st. So June 11th to the 21st of birthdays. Uh, Uranus, uh-oh, unexpected Uranus is going to be making a happy, harmonious connection, however, with your son, bringing you happy, unexpected opportunities. The thing is, though, with that, my goodness, you're going to have a year that you are ready for some freedom. <laughs> you're ready for some independence, by golly. And so you're going to have emerging philosophies about your individuality. And it helps you to explore your real, authentic self. Like, you haven't been able to in a really, really long time, okay? And you're going to be looking at these really different ways of living and living your life in a way that goes against sticking with that conventional path that you may have always done, okay? Expect Uranus to kind of bring some brilliant flashes of insight. Keep in mind that Neptune also works with you this year, my Gemini friend. Follow that intuition. You're building that spiritual base, that spiritual network that's going to guide you. Okay? It may prompt some really radical changes. <laughs> they may really prompt you to do some radical changes. But they're totally right for you decisions, Gemini. Okay? Trust that guidance within. Just like I said for the May 31st to the June 1st birthdays, you got to seek those answers from within and not from other people. Okay? Because this year, the real guidance is coming from within here. That spirit. That guidance. Uh, and another thing, too, with you folks, June 11th to the 21st, Saturn's going to be opposing your son, too. Saturn's that one, remember I was saying, that's been making impacts on your relationship houses, especially your marriages, setting those boundaries and healthy limitations. So it's really going to bring relationships into the focus for you, to the forefront this year for you. Relationships, get a reality check, okay? And you definitely are going to be feeling it. Even more than the other Geminis, okay? The thing is, though, because Mercury is your ruling planet, you are going to be able to speak about what it is you really do want. You're going to speak your thoughts. You're going to say what's working. You're going to say what's not working in these relationships. And you're going to have the confidence to do it, especially as Mars transits through your sign. And let's see here. So that will be around uh, um, 4th of July time is when that's going to be going through your sign, Okay. Your lessons are learned, okay? Saturn's that planet that teaches us lessons, okay? And you come to a point in these relationships where you're like, I've learned the lessons I need to. Let's move on. <laughs> and those new boundaries are going to be formed, okay? So that is the gist of the energy for my Gemini friends for this 2017 year of major transformations. Right now what I'm going to do is a card reading and a stone reading like I usually do with my weekly readings to see what angel is working with us with the Gemini energy for this coming year. Of course, Archangel Zadkiel will always work with you. He is the angel for the um, uh, Gemini. <laughs> and he's the angel of thought. He's the angel of memory. He's the angel of study. Okay, So he's the one that helps you to look to the past, to remember things, 
and especially help those students with their tests and help us all retain that information, especially you Geminis who are the Jeopardy champions of the world. Thank Archangel Zadkiel for that. Of course, he's helping us right now to look to the past and look to the memories correctly um, as we work through these relationships and stabilize them, uh, letting things go, letting these work relationships go so we can bring in new things. He's going to help you remember aspects of yourself you've forgotten maybe that help you find these new careers. But let's see what other angel is working with these Gemini folks this year for 2017. Yeah, it's right over here. Okay. Oh, it's the Grandpa Stone. Grandpa's working with you this year. Okay. Um, so it may be your it may be your grandfather that's passed on the surrounding that's helping you. It may be an energy around you that is a grandfather type. It's ironic because my grandpa was a Gemini. <laughs> His birthday was June 1st. And he passed away from us unexpectedly uh, a couple years ago, okay? And uh, this stone always makes me think of him, and that's why I've named it the Grandpa Stone. So know that your grandpa energy is around you. That fatherly paternal energy helps set those boundaries, helps set those structures. And maybe you're going to be looking to the past for grandpa for guidance in these relationships. He is around. He's around you. He's helping you. So let's ask grandpa, huh, right now, all these grandfather energies that are with us, what is it that you need these Geminis to recognize this year? What do you want them to know that while you're around them to keep this in mind? I'm going to do this six times for June. This is Jack and he wants to say hi. Say hi. hello. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Time to go and sit down. Thank you. Oh, isn't this something? It's another stick. Please stop right now. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Interestingly enough, this is the card that has you looking to the past, looking back to childhood memories. And it's also a card that says that you find a lot of guidance from past decisions, past uh, mistakes is the first word that came to mind. Um, but also, it's just about going back into a time frame when you feel comfortable, when you feel happy, when you feel loved, and that energy surrounds you, for one. But it's also a thing, too, that asks you to look to these past memories that you hold on to, especially if you're letting go of relationships and things that you've outgrown. A lot of times we hold on to them because we have these memories that we have so much emotion tied to that it makes it difficult to move on. Sometimes we look back at those memories when we have that fear of leaving them behind where we look at them with rose-colored glasses and we see things better than what they really are and we tend to gloss over the bad aspects of it. So Grandpa's going to help you see these things a little bit clearer. As you see, there's a child that's looking below the water, to see, but he can't really see these things accurately. You need that spiritual guidance to help you really see that. And you know who does that? Archangel Zadkiel. And of course, Grandpa's going to help you as well. So what I'm going to do is I will also include a link at the bottom of this here that uh, has a, uh, a deeper uh, description of this card as well, because I don't have an hour to explain it. But there may be a sentence in there that really resonates with you. Okay, this is going to be your card of the year. And another thing, too, is that I'm also going to include a link to Archangel Zadkiel. And it's going to explain him in greater detail, your angel of Gemini, but also it includes a meditation. Right under his picture, you'll see a play button. Hit that. It's like eight-minute meditation to work with him, and he'll help cleanse out that uh, toxic energy in the mind and help you to look to the past in a more clear way. So, my Gemini friends, I wish you a year of transformation when it comes to your relationships. And when it comes to the things that you no longer need, okay, especially in your careers, wonderful things await you, okay, because you deserve it. And Jupiter is bringing you wonderful happiness like you haven't seen in over a decade. So keep that in mind and know Grandpa's around you as well. Light and love for 2017. Thank you.